Well, hey there guys, uh, Elton McFall here. How are you all doing? Hope you're coping well through the pandemic bullshit. Anyway, when I say bullshit, that doesn't mean I'm a, you know, a non-vaxxer and I don't believe it exists or, you know, I'm not vaccinated and all that. It's just that, you know, when it gets to be this long and it's, it kind of seems ridiculous and like bullshit, so. Anyway, so I hadn't worked on this painting in like, uh, oh my God, a couple of weeks because honestly, like in the past two weeks, 14 days, Apart from today, uh, today being the 8th of January, a Saturday, it was only sunny at one time, which was I think on Tuesday. And uh, that's it. And uh, me, I need the sun, even if it is really cold right now, it's like minus 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, you know, but I need it also because, you know, I live, as you guys, a lot of you know, in a very dark old apartment. And it's a trade-off when you live in these, you know, uh, you know, charming old buildings. But again, these small, narrow windows, people didn't think outside the box at that time when this was built probably about 100 years ago. So when it's dark outside, when it's cloudy outside, I don't, I can't work on this. It's just too much eye strain because I am visually impaired. Just to show you, look at the thickness of my glasses here, eh? So anyway, despite having developed a headache because, a slight headache because I've been forcing so much working on this, I'll get on the really small stuff uh, for an hour, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I want to just show you the difference. See, this is, uh, this is the, the work I did from uh, when you saw the update in, uh, I think it's this, the 28th, yeah, the 28th of November when I did an update on this painting. Well, not an update, but I think it was actually the first time I showed you me work on this painting because I had mentioned I didn't feel like uh, I don't know, I, I, I filmed so much stuff, I didn't feel like doing a, a video about it. I don't know, I just didn't f felt obligated, I didn't like it, you know. So, since then, uh, I have worked on it here and there, and um, as you're going to take a good look at it here, and you're going to see, and I'm going to show you right now what I've done. Okay, first of all, worked on this over here. Got the, uh, did I show you the standing windows? Yeah, yeah, you see, I did the standee windows. That's what they're called, standee, as in people standing. They could see out the windows right here, which, of course, it was a style from the 40s, and that was uh, also uh, typical on streetcars, because a streetcar was essentially a bus, but on rails. Added some reflection of the blue skies here in the side windows. I figured, yeah, that's probably should be like that. I don't think they should be all black like that. I thought there was something missing. Uh, as well as I started doing the ribs, like the lines here on the side, but this is really tricky to do, and I'm going to get to, back to that in a moment. Uh, the wheels, uh, if you notice before, the wheels, the, the front wheel was actually here before, but then I looked at a couple of pictures, I'm like, shit, you know, this isn't correct. I want this to be like perfection. I mean, I mean, I could die tomorrow and it, you know, this is finished, but I want to be remembered really for anything as, as always striving to make things look as real as possible. Like every time I get people come over and look at this painting, they're tripping out on it. The LTD here, you know? I mean, if I was living in New York, that would be sold. But I don't. Uh, another thing I worked on as well is, uh, just today, is just this wall here. Because when I did all the lines of the bricks, this is all good up until here. And then I just veered off here. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. It got all wonky. So I'm going to have to fix that again. No big deal. It's all part of the deal. All great things take time, you know, like doing a little gas cap over here, a little gas door, you know, I'm going to actually do all the rivets that I can as well. Look, I even just redid the license plate because it was, it didn't look too good, you know. So, and then if I go to show you the book here, which I've shown you my reference before, the 100 years of Montreal buses. Actually, what it really should say is autobus, but bus in French, you say bus is slang, so it's correct. Then when I look at here in the series, the 2000 series, which is what I'm doing again. If you didn't see part one, this is a 1959 to 1964 GMC new look. And these buses were produced up until 1986 in the good old days of when things weren't broke, people didn't fix them, they didn't change anything. And most notably on these buses, which was different from the later models, is that you had these rubber pieces were like painted or dyed silver as well as here, and they all became black. The taillights jutted out here, and they became all flush with the body years later. Uh, also did the uh, the frame for the ad over here, probably not finished as well. Um, also, there's something else I noticed here. Shit, where did I put it? There's a shot here of the rear plate of the bus here in 77, this one being, uh, I think this is like supposed to be like a 64 again, something like that. And I, okay, well, I lost it, I think, temporarily. Um, 
where is it? Where, is it? where the heck is it? I think it is here somewhere. Hang on. Yeah, there it is. Here it is, right here. This one here, this picture here with the uh, ecolier, which means school, like kids, you know. But look at the, um, look at all the rust build up. The, well, I don't know if it's rust because it's all aluminum there, but look at all the, the dirt, the crud that just filled up here. It's greasy, you know. So I'm going to do something like that. And because this plate on this one is a 74, and again, this bus is a, a 70, it was only, it was weird because this one was only like, uh, you know, four years old. So I don't know, it wasn't this area over here, again, where the, the, the license plate is and the, and the fuel door, this wasn't cleaned properly. I don't know why. Uh, it's kind of strange, but anyway. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, just to go back again, like I said, the, the, the lines on the uh, the panels, the ribs as they're called, you know, here, this is really tricky to do, you know, uh, because I want to make this look as authentic as possible. Uh, not in terms of, again, the background of it, like all this, uh, you know, the fade of the shine and whatnot on the aluminum, the stainless steel, but again, the, it's kind of hard to explain. I wish I could find a better photo here to show you what I mean. Well, anyway, to explain it, you see, like, right now I got, like, the dark part, right? Because this sticks out. So I'm going to have to go over this again on sort of the top half and make the other part of it, like, white or kind of like a yellow color. Because this is supposed to be, you know, like a late afternoon kind of a scene, you know? So that's the trippy key part is to do, not twilight, because that would be even harder, but close to that. Which means, actually, after studying so many pictures... I realize also that actually the the ground here, which again is is this color because you know it's later in the afternoon, so the sun is more intense, it's lower, it doesn't necessarily look gray. But anyway, this is gonna have to, I'm gonna have to work on reflecting this a little bit more in the bus here. Uh, this is gonna need some more work. So again, it's a very it's a very uh, precarious project. Um, and you know, again, the the, the LTD that was like a, honestly that was like a cinch to paint because again, you see how it's so simple. The most complicated thing was the tire, but this guy is another story. So again, I just wanted to give you guys a nice update on that, and it's going real well. And uh, But as for the long-term forecast for days with sun, eh, it's not, not too good, frankly. So again, I know some of you think to yourself, well, you got your light here, Elton, you got your overhead light. Yeah, but it's, it's not enough, especially when you're visually impaired like me and a perfectionist. It's got to be, you know, perfect conditions. It's like so many things... Uh, that you do, you know, like if you're going to go play golf, you're not going to go play when it's uh, a chance of showers, you know. So that's it, man. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if the next video will be when it's done. I would like it to be, but uh, again, it's just dragging on now. So, anyway, so I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.